Hey, it's Randy Burgoyne with Impactization.com. My last two videos have been on iDrive. The first one on iDrive Backup, and the second one was on iDrive Sync. Now, the Sync folder is like a Dropbox where you can share files or access them on your mobile device very quickly. The file backup allows you to take your documents, folders, and store them into the cloud very, very quickly and be able to restore them if you need. It also concludes versioning so that you're not going to get um, you know, hacked by ransomware and encrypted and not be able to get to your files. Well, this one we're going to talk about the iDrive disk image and what the difference is between that and the file backup. But first of all, if you haven't done so, you can click on impactization.com, go to Partners and Products, click on iDrive, and install the iDrive. You can just pick the free 5 gigabyte one. That'll give you some basic room to start playing with and get familiar with iDrive. All right, so let's launch iDrive and I'll show you some of the features that we can do inside of the application. Okay, uh, the backup we talked about, there's the five folders that we're backing up. The sync, the sync folder, um, again, it's just called iDrive sync that shows up in my files. And then, uh, Today we're going to talk about the disk image backup. Okay, disk image allows you to take an entire hard drive, in this case we're going to do the C drive, and back it up to another location. The advantage of a disk image, it is complete. It has all the software, the operating system, all the hidden files, everything is included in that disk image. Not just the files in your My Documents like in the, the normal file backup. So you want to do both. The reason being is that if you lose a hard drive, you can use the disk image restore. See the restore disk image right here. You can restore the entire drive onto a new hard drive and be up and running. Okay, that is incredibly valuable. But it takes time and it's slow because it's everything. It's several hundred gigabytes doesn't matter how fast the computer you've got, that's still a lot of data to push. Whereas if you've just deleted an Excel file or overwritten a Word file, uh, your backup, file backup is a lot easier to restore and is very fast. But anyway, we're going back to back up the C drive. We're going to back up to the G drive. Now the G drive I'll show you here is just a USB drive that I have plugged into my computer. It's a Seagate Backup Plus. It's about a five, well, four and a half terabyte hard drive, so it's got a lot of space. I also know I've got a Linux server called RAS2. This Linux server has three and a half terabytes of space on it as well. And what's unique about iDrive is it supports servers so that you don't have to worry about having a USB drive in all your computers if you've got three or four or whatever. I've got a, this Linux box that I use to just dump large blocks of data. If I'm doing, you know, as a project for a client, I've got a place to store that data that's fast and reliable. Well, iDrive supports it, and that's a unique feature that uh, a lot of the other local disk image backup programs will not do. Okay, so now we've selected the drive. We just, uh, where it's going from, where it's going to, we click schedule now and it's just like the schedule backup on the file we can pick the start time uh, the daily schedule now I have scheduled something here I don't want it to start a backup immediately because it'll slow me down right now as I finish um, I don't want an hourly schedule but I do want a cutoff time okay I can pick 8 a.m. as the time that it has to be done okay if the backups not finished on the first day it'll pick it up at 1 30 a.m and do six and a half hours of backup every day until it's done. Now, uh, this disk, this drive image, this disk image, I don't care if it takes me a week or so, and it could if it's you know a couple hundred gigabytes of storage, but I would rather it not slow me down during the day. Okay, that's the important part. There's other notification things that you can pick up, email, or just a pop-up notification, and click Save Changes, and you're done. So there you have it. That is how to set up a 
disk image backup with iDrive and look at the previous videos for the file backup and the file sync. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I love iDrive. It's got a lot of capabilities and we'll cover some more in another video. But please be sure to like and share and subscribe wherever you see our impactization videos. Thanks and have a great day.